Hi and hello all. Let us talk about Riemer-Tiemann reaction. In Riemer-Tiemann reaction, a phenol will get converted into corresponding aldehyde in presence of chloroform and alkali. The starting material could be phenol or its derivatives or even some heterocyclic rings also do this reaction. Product is the corresponding aldehyde. This particular group is called a formyl group. This uh, CHO group is formyl group. And so this reaction is a formulation reaction. Formulation happens at the ortho position. If the ortho position is occupied, then it will happen at the para position. In drawback of this reaction is the low yield. Generally, the yield of this reaction is very poor. Now let us have a look at the mechanism of this reaction. We can say it has two parts. The reaction has two parts, the carbene formation and then the reaction of that carbene with the phenoxide ion. So this molecule is chloroform. It is reacting with NaOH. OH minus is the reacting species and OH minus picks up a proton from the chloroform molecule. So we can show this through this curved arrows. This arrow means there is going to be a new bond between this OH and H and this arrow means this particular bond is breaking. There are two electrons in this bond. The maximum probability of finding these electrons is going to be on carbon, not in between carbon and hydrogen. So that is what indicated by this uh, curved arrow or in other words this bond is breaking. Let us show the two electrons in this bond. Let us represent the electrons in this bond with these dots and uh, both electrons are going to be on carbon. This hydrogen will leave us H plus. That means uh, OH minus will get H plus and this will be water. And this is basically both electron is going to be on carbon so like this. When it was in the bond, one electron belonged to carbon and the other electron belonged to hydrogen. For the purpose of writing formal charges, we, we consider in that way. Now both electron is on carbon. That is, carbon got hydrogen's electron too. That means carbon got an extra electron. So carbon will have a negative charge. We can write that negative charge. So that is what we represented here. So this is the negative charge species. That is the carbonion. This carbonion is a little bit stabilized because of the electron withdrawing groups that is this chlorine atoms. Three chlorine atoms are attached to this carbon. So this carbonion is a little bit stabilized. That's why it, it is forming with a, a simple base like uh, OH minus. We haven't represented that two electrons here. We can represent that here too. Now what happens? This Chlorine is a good leaving group, that is it can leave our Cl minus, so it leaves and we will end up with a carbene. Now chlorine leaves with its own electron. So our Cl minus leaves from a negatively charged species, remember it was a carbanion, that is this carbanion, right? Our Cl minus leaves, the species has to be neutral, so the species is neutral. So this is carbene, it has, this carbon has six electrons around it, two electrons in this bond, two electrons in this bond, and then two other electrons. So total six electrons. So carbon is not octet and this carbon or carbene is electron deficient. It's a highly reactive intermediate and this will react with the aromatic ring that is phenol. So second part of the reaction is the reaction of carbene with the phenoxide ion. Phenol is reasonably acidic, pK is around 10 and uh, in presence of OH minus or NaOH, phenol will get deprotonated like this and uh, we will get a phenoxide ion. This curved arrow means there is going to be a new bond between this O and H and this curved arrow means these two electrons in this bond are going to stay on oxygen or maximum probability of finding this electron is going to be on oxygen or in other words oxygen will get a negative charge. Right, this bond is breaking, both electrons are going to be on oxygen, that is oxygen is getting oxygen's electron and hydrogen's electron. So oxygen is getting an extra electron, so oxygen will have a negative charge. So now we have a phenoxide ion. Now this phenoxide ion is highly activated or because of resonance effect, the electron density is from this oxygen is imparted on this uh, aromatic ring and this ring is very active. So this can attack this uh, carbene, this our re in, uh, reactive species carbene. This curved arrow means the two electrons here 
is going to be in between oxygen and carbon that means there is going to be a new bond a pi bond here and uh, this carbon arrow means the pi bond is going to break here and one uh, bond from this carbon to this carbon is going to form okay let us see that so this is the structure so this is the new bond and this means this carbon is getting an extra electron the neutral species neutral carbon gets an extra electron so then it will have a negative charge and this negative charge pick, can pick up this hydrogen the electrons in between this hydrogen and this carbon will no longer be there and there will be electron density in between this uh, these two carbons that is indicated by this curved arrow and as there is going to be a new bond to this carbon this old bond is breaking and uh, that's how the aromaticity is going to get regenerated there so h will go here this electrons will be here and this will be o minus so so that is the structure we have been shown the the h extra h here that's uh, what this is a species so this is a phenoxide uh, this is another phenoxide ion and on this carbon chlorine is there and chlorine is a good leaving group it can leave us cl minus so oh minus can attack here and sn2 reaction can happen and uh, you can have we can have an oh group attached there now this oh group this cl the other cl group is there that's also a good leaving group so this oh group uh, the lone pair electron can come in between these two atoms and form a pi bond here when the pi bond forms there will be a positive charge on oxygen as there are three bonds to this oxygen so basically this is a protonated aldehyde species and this proton can be picked up by the base uh, in the reaction mixture now we will have an aldehyde and that after acidification so this O minus will get protonated and we will have a you know salicyl aldehyde like this uh, some people represents this O minus is picking up this uh, proton and uh, I don't think that's uh, not necessary as this OH will anyway will be phenoxide ion in presence of OH minus that is in alkaline medium this cannot be an OH that will be an you know a phenoxide ion so after only after acidification we will get complete uh, you know phenol species I think this mechanism is better so this is fine so let us have a look at the mechanism once again so the reaction can be of two parts that is carbene formation then the reaction of carbene with the phenoxide ion so the OH minus picks up a proton from here and there will be a negative charge on carbon and anyway Cl is a good leaving group it leaves and Cl minus leaves and we have a carbene this dichlorocarbene will react with the phenoxide ion so phenol will stay as phenoxide ion in alkaline medium because alkali OH minus or the base will pick up a proton from phenol as phenol is reasonably acidic and uh, this phenoxide ion is highly active and uh, this ring is highly active and these two electrons comes here and uh, the pi bond breaks and forms a sigma bond here and this is the new sigma bond and there will be a negative charge on this carbon and this carbon can pick up this proton and aromaticity can be regenerated and while a phenoxide ion another uh, phenoxide ion still forms and there will be O minus basically and uh, now this part OH minus can attack and SN2 reaction can happen and OH will be here when OH will be when OH is there on the carbon with a good leaving group obviously this reaction will happen that is C double bond O will form and the leaving group will leave and you will have a protonated aldehyde species like this deprotonation can happen and uh, you will have an aldehyde species like this and this phenoxide ion is there and uh, after acidification after acidification uh, you will have uh, the product salicyl aldehyde hope you understood the mechanism of rematriment reaction thank you